Hello. In this video, I would like to demonstrate the difference between melting and dissolving. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm, melting and dissolving is a concept that uh, many students, younger students mostly, uh, confuse. And a good example to use to illustrate the difference is mothballs. And mothballs consist of paradichlorobenzene. <clears throat> and here I have a few crystals of uh, paradichlorobenzene in a test tube. The nice thing about paradichlorobenzene <clears throat> is that it has a low melting point. It melts at uh, 53 and a half degrees Celsius, which is between room temperature and the boiling point of water. So you could easily uh, demonstrate the melting of paradichlorobenzene. The other nice thing about it is that it um, dissolves in nonpolar solvents such as acetone. So I'm going to demonstrate that later. But first, let me uh, immerse the mothballs, the paradichlorobenzene, in uh, hot water, which I have behind here. And you will see that it uh, readily melts. As the temperature rises to uh, above 53 and a half degrees, you can see the crystals melting and it forms a liquid. <clears throat> and this occurs at a specific temperature, the, the melting point of paradichlorobenzene, which I said is 53 and a half degrees. So it's a specific temperature at which it melts. And you can see the crystals are almost completely melted. Give it a little agitation. The temperature uh, of this uh, mixture of the solid and liquid is uh, 53 and a half degrees. Uh, I, if I get a chance, I will demonstrate that with a cooling curve. But and not until all of the solid melts does the temperature rise above 53 and a half degrees. Okay, you can see now it's it's above that temperature. And then if I take it out and let it uh, cool it will recrystallize. I'm not going to um, do that right now, but uh, you can do that on your own and see that that happens. Okay, well, my uh, crystals of paradichlorobenzene, or mothballs, have uh, uh, gone from being melted back to being recrystallized. And you can see them in the test tube here. And you can see uh, some nice uh, crystals up at the top that had kind of vaporized and condensed higher on the test tube. And now I'm going to illustrate melting, which is an entirely different process from uh, dissolving, which is an entirely different process from uh, melting. <coughs> the crystals are at room temperature, well below their melting point. I'm going to add the acetone, which I'll use to dissolve the crystals. And you can see already the, the crystals on the side have melted. And although it's not real apparent, you can see the little striations as the, the crystals dissolve in the acetone. It takes a little bit. Probably if you just use crystals right out of the can, it would dissolve a little faster. But it, <coughs> excuse me, it, it is dissolving. And by the way, this uh, dissolving as well as melting, are those are two examples of a physical change. It's not a chemical change. And um, I'll, I'll try and demonstrate this, but uh, if I allow the, after I melt the, the crystals completely, uh, if I allow the acetone to evaporate off the, the crystals of uh, paradichlorobenzene will re-emerge. Slowly dissolving, it, it will uh, completely dissolve in a few moments. Uh, 
and it's it's uh, you know looking at it live rather than on the video uh, is, is uh, more dramatic. You can see the striations as the uh, solid dissolves into the liquid to produce a paradise chloro benzene solution in acetone. Now it's completely dissolved. So uh, uh, that's an example of dissolving, which is different than melting. And I think uh, this example makes that clear. OK, well, lastly, I'm going to pour the paradichlorobenzene in acetone solution into a, um, a watch glass and uh, allow the solvent to evaporate and you'll see that the crystals come out. It may take a while for the evaporation to take place, but let's see what happens. Okay, I think you can see that the solvent has pretty much completely evaporated and you can see the crystals of paradise chlorobenzene and I can smell the characteristic uh, aroma of the, uh, the mothballs. So uh, I hope you uh, uh, can use this uh, idea uh, to demonstrate the difference between melting, which takes place by heating a solid up, when it reaches its melting point, the temperature stays constant until all of the solid melts. And um, <clears throat> the other thing is uh, dissolving, which is a totally different process. Uh, the solid is dissolved in a solvent, in this case it was acetone, to form a solution. And both of these processes are reversible. If we cool down the, the molten liquid, we get a recrystallization. And if we evaporate off the solvent in, in the solution, we get the crystals being formed as well. So thank you for your attention, and I'll see you next time.